So the Elite Rider test is no joke. It's really hard. I feel super nauseous. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry or lay still for like 10 hours now. The purpose of this is to test your rate of fatigue. So you do two five minute max efforts with 30 minutes of work in between in the form of two 15 minute ramp ups around your FTP, so just below and then to just above. Idea being that the best in the world can have a similar number for their first five minute max effort and their second. So I actually tested the test first. I went in and did an actual all out five minute effort. I did 335 watts in that. And then uh, I think you get like four minutes of recovery or something like that. Um, By the first ramp, I couldn't do it. I moved my FTP down to 96 or 95 or 90%, something like that for the second ramp. Um, did the ramp and then did my second five minute max effort at 310 watts. So the difference was like 25 watts. Not awful, but not great. So the strategy that I implemented, I kept it in erg mode. I did less than a max effort for my first one. It felt like a max effort just trying to hit the watt target that I had, which was 310 to 320 watts. I only managed 307 watts. Um, so it was a lot lower than what it should have been and what I wanted. It wasn't close enough to an actual max. Anyway, it was what it was. I moved my FTP down to 96% for the workout. So my two ramp ups I did at 96% of my FTP and I did them really well. And it was a lot of effort and a lot of work to be able to do that. I made sure my cadence got increasingly quicker with each um, interval of the ramp. So I think the start, it was around 80 and then it would have finished close to 100. A slowing cadence is a sign of fatigue. So you're wanting to avoid that and show the consistency, even though I was feeling extremely fatigued <laughs> um, and I knew I was in trouble. Come the second, I didn't have a lot to give. I ended up doing 280 watts. So that's pretty tragic. That's like almost 60 watts lower than my actual max five minute, almost 30 watts lower than my first effort. So for me, obviously rate of fatigue, I really need to work on. And I'm glad that I've done the academy to at least discover that. And then having done workout five now as well, I've learned how to actually improve that. So I will be incorporating that workout into my training every week and trying to focus on building that ability to resist fatigue. So an alternative to what I did is to use slope mode. So not have it in erg mode where it's making you hit those watts. Slope mode means that I guess you're a lot more in control of the effort you're putting out during those ramp ups. So a friend of mine did this. He also did pace his first effort to be able to deliver a strong second effort. He did much better on the test than me um, with those five minute efforts. His second was actually higher than his first. How far off his max it was, I'm not too sure. I think that's gonna weigh more with the people that are assessing these rides, showing that you have a really strong um, second five minute effort compared to your first is probably the most key thing. That's just the vibe I get. My ramp ups were definitely stronger and more consistent than his though. If you're confident in your ability to deliver two really strong equal five minute efforts and you wanna nail this test from start to finish, I think erg mode would be the way to go because it does enable you to deliver a really consistent effort throughout the ramp ups and show that increasing cadence and lack of fatigue <laughs> that they're apparently looking for. So if you can do that and deliver two equal five minutes, then do that. <laughs> this test was only available till the 1st of October, so you can't do it anymore for this year. So these would be tips and learnings for next time. But yeah, definitely try and practice it before you do it. Um, and then you'll be able to find out whether you should be using slope mode, how much you need to actually manage those efforts. That's my experience of it and my learnings. Um, take what you will. There is only one more video to go. It will be a comparison between my finish line and baseline ride and just general overview of Swift Academy 2021. Oh, 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 oh,